Good morning, Iona. So today, we're going to learn about molar mass and how it's used in balancing equations. Two atoms of nitrogen react with three moles of H2, which is hydrogen. These two elements react to form two moles of NH3. In part A, we're going to find the limiting and excess reactants. The limiting reactant is N2 because this runs out first in the reaction. And H2 is the excess because there is extra afterwards. The molar mass of N2 is 28.0134. We found this by finding the atomic mass of nitrogen, which was 14.006 and multiplying it by two, since there were two nitrogens. Similarly, for H2, hydrogen, we found the atomic mass of hydrogen, which is 1.00794. When doubled, it becomes 2.01588, which is the um, molar mass of this substance. Now we come to form our product which is 2NH3. The 2 stands for 2 moles, but we're focusing on 1 mole since this is molar mass. Therefore, the molar mass of NH3, we found this, again, by having the atomic mass of nitrogen and the atomic mass of hydrogen. The, um, we added 1 nitrogen, and since hydrogen in its atomic mass is 1.00794, there are 3 hydrogens. We must triple this to reach our atomic I mean, molar mass of 17.0305. Okay. In part B, we are going to find the mass of the product if five moles of N2 are used as the reactant rather than only one mole. First thing we're going to do is find the mole ratio. Mole ratio is just a ratio that shows you your quantity balance. So we also need our molar mass since we are trying to find the mass of five moles of N2. Since we're finding, trying to find the product, we have to know the mass of NH3. Mass of NH3, as we found in part A, is 17.0305. You have to multiply this by 10 because of its ratio, one to two. So for every one mole of N2, it is two moles of H3. Since there's five moles now of N2, we have to have 10 moles of NH3. So we multiply them by 10, and we end up getting 170.305. If we want to have 10 moles of NH3, or five moles of N2. So for part C, we are going to find out if we use three moles of N2, what will the new equation become? So we know that our mole ratio is what we need to do to solve this. So we know that our mole ratio of N2 to H2, is that two, N2 to H2, you know, it is one to three. Therefore, we must multiply this coefficient, which is three, by three, which is this coefficient up here to equal nine. So that's what we get. So we have three and two plus nine H two reacts to form. And now we know from part B, the mole ratio of N two to NH three is one to two. So we must double this three since it's a one to two ratio. It becomes six and H three. Therefore, this becomes our new equation. Once again, this is Richard Stevens, and have a great day.